Hi guys, for this video, I'm gonna teach you about variables and list. So a variable is just a container that you can store numbers in. So let's go make our own variable. Let's name it score. And now let's say every time the sprite is clicked, I would like it to add one to our score. So we're gonna say, okay, well, let's set our variable to score to zero, but that's just gonna set to zero but what if we do one? It's just gonna be infinitely stuck at one. So we're gonna actually use the operators. So we're gonna need add one to our current score. So every time the sprite is clicked, it adds one. You even can get it to subtract or divide or do a bunch of other things, but it's most easy so you can keep score of a, like you can make a game and keep score of how many times you cur finish line things like that so then I'm gonna talk about list so a list is where you can store a bunch of different things in it so it's kind of like a to-do list like you can check things off and add and take them on and off stuff like that so let's name it sprites we're gonna add some random sprites get a food dish. Let's see what other ones we can get. Check mark. Bananas. So we're gonna have a bunch of different sprites. I take off the check mark so we don't quit that. Okay, so we have three sprites. So we're on the So when this sprite is clicked, we wanna try and add to the list. So we're gonna say, okay, when this is clicked, which is just this cat is clicked, I want you to add cat to the list. So look at it, it adds cat. And it won't take it off, but you can e keep adding a bunch more cats on there. So let's add fruit platter. So I'm gonna say, okay, when our sprite is clicked, we are going to add fruit to the list. Now, if you go look at the bottom, it adds fruit. So if there were certain things that you want to add to a list and make them do them at the same time, this is a way you could do that. You could add them to the list and you could make them like go, oh, move cat, move cat, move cat, oh, move fruit instead to go through the entire length of the list. Let's add bananas. So when it's clicked, we are going to want it to add bananas to the list. So now that's bananas. You can add cat cat, fruit, bananas. So you can do certain things with that list, make things occur in that order that you clicked them. So that's all for now. I'm going to have you guys go experiment with variables and lists. 